this is Maria from the Tarot Shop with a walkthrough for the Lightseer's Tarot. Um, I have to say that this is quite honestly one of my favourite decks at the moment. Um, so actually I, I probably have quite a few favourites but I do really really love this one. It's, um, it's beautiful to work with, the imagery is so strong, the cards feel absolutely easy to handle. Um, right, so let's get started. The Lightseer's Tarot, this is the guidebook. Um, there you've got Chris Ann. Uh, okay, the Lightseer's Tarot, the box says, this 78 card tarot deck is a healing tool and guide to explore both the light and shadow sides of our nature. By reimagining the traditional tarot archetypes and symbols in a contemporary boho and intuitive style, and I think you'll see that's really what she's achieved, the Light Seer's Tarot expresses the light and shadow sides of our natures and explores the lessons that can be learned from both. The expressive characters who live within the landscapes of the cards tell stories, ask questions and provide guidance. This deck is an ideal companion as you seek to uncover the places in your life and in yourself that are most in need of illumination. I would imagine that she's probably anticipated that this is going to be for a self-guiding tool, but you can use it, obviously, as a traditional tarot tool for readings because the um oh you've still got the 78 cards there's a little message inside here inside the box it says and into the gray we follow like a thousand flickering stars and there is and there in a sunlit hollow we lose and find what is ours dear light and shadow seer may this deck help you find what is yours that's from Chris Ann, a lovely little message. So that's the box. The booklet at the beginning of the booklet, she explains a little bit more about obviously what's inspired her to write the deck, to draw, um, yeah, to design the deck. You've got some sample spreads and then each of the cards, the light and the dark side of it. It's um, effectively, I guess, I suppose, like upright and reversed. <clears throat> then you've got um, each of the cards right the way through, including the Miners, you've got each suit. That's the booklet. We'll pop that to one side and get straight into the cards. The only thing I would say is that they are quite thick. So they are huge when you um, go to handle them. I can still get them in my hand and I can shuffle them. Um, but they are not like you, you can't go too quickly. Um, but I think that that might be a determined um, thing to make you contemplate a bit more, maybe perhaps when you're doing the, the shuffling. Anyway, so we'll start with the um, major, we'll start with the cards. So the first card is the Fool. They are just, there's something so, spe they are so popular. There is something so special about them. They obviously use the imagery that we're used to creating something out of nothing, the magician. This is working with nature to harness the energy to make um, dreams come true, I guess. The magician, the high priestess. Interesting as well that she's actually connected from an intuitive point of view immediately to the divine rather than, you know, using hidden books and, and knowledge. So it's very much a self-enlightenment aspect rather than reading secret books and things that you get through the other cards the other decks rather the empress so very guy in isn't it she's got pregnant and she's got the earth on there so everything's connected you see you could spend a very long time i know because i have in the past looking and contemplating on each card the emperor the hierophant He very there's only him in it there's not the other two that are sitting there it's is this is all about enlightenment the hierophant self-awareness you know usually when you get the hierophant somebody's going through a period of um, self-development the lovers you've got that passion all that passion sweeping that person away the chariot there we are we're off forward movement the strength i like this card a lot because you know, the strength is within, you see. It's it's part of who she is, the lion, lioness. 
the hermit alone time for, for illumination and she's dropped the lantern and actually she's sitting there and it's coming from within her so the very self awareness cards the wheel she's not going to stay on there for long she's going to have to some it's going to give isn't it this is evolution so she's climbing spinning and climbing and she's happy the justice card balance duality light and dark the hanged man we're just hanging around and it's beautiful she's on a cloth that's good death and i like that she's added here rebirth so many people panic when they see the death card but actually sometimes we have to let go of these things you know they need to be gone so we can move on temperance I'm not a particularly patient person, so I don't always enjoy this card, but actually it's divine intervention, isn't it? You can see there. You just need to wait. The devil, we're tempting, mm -hmm. pulling the strings. The tower, interesting. Watching his tree be struck. Oh. But still there's you know we rebuild on firmer ground the star so we're being guided the moon and what lies beneath as usually with all of the moon cards what lies beneath the surface it's hidden you see hidden power hidden path the sun healing i like this as well because the sun is very healing as well as being you know the card of success judgment yeah, this is really good because you're being called to your higher self. She maybe wants to be a dancer. Who knows? That's what her dream was. And the universe calls her to step into her own power. The world. <clears throat> Completion. So then we move into the cups. The ace. Two. Oh, you got two hands joined. I love this card. Three of Cups, there they are, off together. <laughs> Four of Cups, oh goodness, yeah, she's fed up, you see. Five of Cups. Crying over spilt milk, I always call this one. She's so busy looking at that and doesn't see the other. What's already in look that's hidden there. Six of Cups, oh, this is the card. Isn't that a really good card for nostalgia? He's remembering when he was, you know, when the puppy, when he was a little puppy. And how he felt about his dog when he was young. Very nostalgic. Seven, we can't make our mind up. Eight, off we go. We're turning our back on it all. Nine, contentment. Ten. Page, that's very good. <laughs> Seeing what he can cook up. interesting that he's sitting because nights are all about movement so obviously the horse is waiting to he's just getting his stuff together to go and woo some lovely young lady queen of cups and king of cups i do love these right ace of wands we're moving on to wands ace of wands the spark of a new idea like she's gonna feel that's lovely two of wands just need to decide there we are we're off we're gonna go off Four of Wands. That's good because there's not, too, I mean, there is conflict here, but there's not too much conflict. And actually, they're all kind of separated in their own direction because this is a card of conflict. So, okay. Six of Wands. There she is. Look, look at the spotlights on her. Wonderful. Seven. Of ones, mm. very busy. Mm. That's too much to do, you see, when you've got the eight of ones. So, some it's gonna you've got too much on. I suppose that one's not quite, they're not all at the same, gonna be delivered at the same time. 
It's like a massive juggling act. Nine, we're defending ourselves, standing up for ourselves. I guess we've got a boundary there, haven't we? So maybe we're working on a boundary. I'm trying to work out how I would actually be able to use the imagery to be able to ensure that I recalled it quite quickly if I was new. Um, ten of Wands. Yeah, we're really laden down, aren't we? Page. The opportunities. Oops, pardon me. I've got it the wrong way around. No, I haven't. That was right. What threw me then was a female knight. How lovely. Very good. Again, movement. Queen and the king. <laughs> With his lion in it. Moving on to the swords. Now, it would be interesting to see what... I'm actually going to save the swords and have a look at those last because they are always quite challenging set. Okay, so we've got Ace of Pentacles. All about um, show me the money. Two juggling acts. Three creativity. Four yeah, I'm looking after my own money here. I'm keeping it safe. She's looking after her purse. Five are. Oh. We know this one, don't we? Because this is in the uh, traditional cards. This is a church window, isn't it? And they're outside in the cold. Six. Seven. Growth. Eight. She's not really, she's taking a chill out time because uh, everything's just working for itself. Very good card to get when you're obviously an entrepreneur. Nine. Ten. Interest, you still use the falcon. Ten. Page of Pentacles. Again, lovely female. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Lovely. That is a gorgeous card. I love this colour. King of Pentacles, and he's got his wolf beside him. Right now, swords. Let's see how swords. We've got a new idea. Yep. Two. Yep. We can't see what's going on. That's a bit of a. She just needs to take that blindfold off and see things for what they are. Three. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we've got the heartbreak. That's quite portrayed that very well, that one, actually. And four, we just want to hide away, don't we? Resting. Five, yeah. It's tough. Six, we're putting it all behind us now, because if you think of the, the standard right away, they're in a boat and they're going into smoother waters, where these crows are actually pulling this boat to shore, which is quite good, isn't it? She's being guided to war as well, because again, it's not something she's doing herself. Seven. Mm, look out, look out, there's a thief about. Eight. Nine. Yeah, she's still head and hands, isn't she? There's a bed in the background there, look, you can just about see it. Ten. Yeah, that's lovely, because the Ten of Swords is quite tough, and actually it is a time to move forward. She's free from it all. Page of Swords. Look at all those ideas from heaven, or divine. Knight of Swords. Now, this is a knight I'm used to seeing. We've got lots of movement there. Queen of Swords. She's very... Um, Queen of Swords always has something to say. <laughs> and the King of Swords. So that's the light seers, and I think you will agree that they are absolutely stunning. I don't know one person that has been disappointed with deciding to get and work with the light seers. Okay, thank you for your time.